Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about integration by substitution. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, the integral of 5x times the square root of 2x plus 3 dx, and we want to evaluate this indefinite integral. Now, we're going to use some u substitution. I need to find a u value. I generally set my u value to be what's inside of something kind of crazy, in this case, the square root. So if I set u to be 2x plus 3, what's my du? Well, the derivative of that is, well, just a 2 dx. Hmm, okay. So I want to see if I can rewrite this in terms of u and du's. Inside the square root's easy. That's an easy u to find. Now, my dx here, well, I have a 2 dx is du. So if I rewrite this end part here to be instead of dx, just a 2 dx, oops, <laughs> 2 dx, not 2 times 2, but 2 times dx, I can do that, but I have to cancel it out outside of the integral, multiply it by a 1 half right there. Doesn't change the problem at all, okay? Inside the square root, I'm going to rewrite that to be a 2x plus 3, and I'll write to the 1 half power just so we have a place value, because I can put a u in right there. So far, so good. But I have a 5x, and how, what can I do with that? Well, that comes actually comes into my u value. If I rewrite my u value to subtract a 3 to both sides, I have a u minus a 3 equals a 2x right there. So I want to have this actually turn into a 2x. Well, how can I do that? The x is there. Okay, I have an x. If I want to write that as a 2x, okay, instead, um, well, what I have to do then is, hmm, I have to put a 1 half again out front. So that cancels out there, and I still have the x value come down directly, but the 5 still should be there. But can I just put the 5 out front as well? I could. And so right now we have actually a problem, an integral that's exactly the same. Let's double check that. 5 is still there, 1 half and a 2 cancels out, so we just have the x. 1 half and this 2 cancels out, so we're good there, and everything's just the same, right? Square root and 1 half power is the same. So at this point now, let's do our u substitution. Now, 5 times 1 half times 1 half is a 5 fourth. Let's make it a little easy here times the integral. This 2x, right, is that u minus uh, 3. And then this part here is my u, and this is my du. All right, so you can see it. So instead of 2x, I have a u minus a 3 here, multiplied by, well, my u to the 1 half power, times, well, just du. Now, this looks like a much easier integral to solve. So let's go do that over here. Okay, I like to write higher if I can. Oh, let's put some equal signs here. I always forget that. All right, 5 fourths stays out front here. Okay, and actually, let's go multiply this integral, uh, these u's out. That's actually easier here. So we have u to, u to the 1 half times u. All right, we add the exponent by 1. So we have u to the 3 halves here, minus 3u to the 1 half power, and then d u. Just making sure I still did that right. We're good. So now from here, 5 fourths stays out front. Now let's take the integral of the inside here. Okay, power rule. U, we raise the exponent by 1. We add 1 to it, so we have a 5 halves, right? 3 halves plus 2 over 2 is a 5 halves. Cancel it out, multiply by 2 fifths out front. Minus, same thing here, 3 is still there. 1 half plus 1, or 2 over 2, is a 3 halves. Flip that over, multiply out front, a 2 thirds. And then we still have now a plus C going on here. Simplify this out where we can. Um, uh, the threes cancel right here, just so we see that. Now let's multiply this out. Five fourths times a two fifths. All right, the fives cancel, and the two fourths becomes a one half. So we have a one half here, and then we have a u to the five half power uh, minus. Oops, not equal to minus. Same thing, 5 fourths times what's left over is a 2, as a 5 halves, right? Uh, u to the 3 halves power plus, and then c here, again, 5 fourths should be multiplied by the c, but it's just another constant going on there, so just a c. Now, the easy part. We just plug in 2x plus 3 in for u. So we have a 1 half here, our u value, a 2x plus 3 to the 5 halves power, minus 
5 halves times a 2x plus 3 again for the u value to the 3 halves power plus c. Let's double check that was correct. I have 1 half 2x to the 5 halves minus 5 halves 2x <laughs> plus chance. c. Perfect. And so my final answer here, if I can fit it all in, is a 1 half times 2x plus 3 to the 5 halves power minus 5 halves times 2x plus 3 to the 3 halves power plus c. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.